Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting in order to highlight cells that meet a certain criteria within Excel, specifically um, uh, any cell that is greater than a certain value. And if you'd like to get this spreadsheet, go to teachexcel.com, search for this tutorial, and you can download it there. So what I've got here is a sample list of employees with their sick day count for an entire year. And some of them, such as Michael Scott and Creed Bratton, have been sick a lot. So here's the list. Now what I want to do is filter it. Um, or not, I don't want to filter it, actually. It's the wrong word. I just want to highlight the cells that are greater than a certain value. Filtering is for a later tutorial. So what I want to do is highlight the sick days. So I'm going to select all of the sick days, and I want to do this with conditional formatting. So I don't want to change the way, the, uh, the order of the employees or anything like that, which is what filtering would do. Just highlight them. So I've selected all the sick days. I'm on the Home tab, going to the Styles box, select Conditional Formatting. At the very top you'll see Highlight Cells Rules. This, the way they arrange this in 07 is really very helpful. So then select greater than. This box is going to open up and it's going to tell you to enter a number in here. What it's going to do is format the cells that are greater than this number. So who was sick for more than 15 days this year? You'll see as I type it automatically updates the screen in the background. Pretty neat. Then over here you can select one of uh, about six of these preset color arrangements and cell formatting arrangements or set up your own format custom format and here you can do any number of things custom borders fonts fill how you want the number of the cell to look for now we will stick with a traditional light red fill with dark red text so select the number click OK and you're done so check out the sick days column got highlighted in red everyone who was sick for more than 15 days only three people Kelly Kapoor being the third so that's how you can highlight values that are greater than a certain value and that is called conditional formatting and I'm gonna show you how to change this so I've already got it up here now what if I want to take it away or change the rules for the sick days simply click conditional formatting go to manage rules this window is going to open up. Select the appropriate rule. You can double click it and change everything here. So greater than what? Well, I can change it to be greater than 10 now. And I can change the format here. Or I could change the entire rule right here. So I'm going to cancel that. Now if I want to remove this value, I simply select the rule, click delete rule, OK now it's not going to highlight. Now if you want to highlight the cells that are less than a certain value so let's say maybe you want to give a bonus to anyone who was sick fewer than two days a year click conditional formatting highlight cells rules instead of greater than click less than. This window opens up exactly the same as the other way uh, except for now it's less than so let's say less than two days a year click OK. Now let's see we got Dwight Schrute and Angela Martin. So that's how you can highlight cells that are greater than or less than a certain value. I showed you how to take the formatting off, the conditional formatting. It stays the same uh, for this. And that's about it. Uh, in reality, there's a lot more you might want to do to the data in terms of filtering and sorting, but uh, those topics are covered in other tutorials. So if you'd like to get this workbook, head over to teach teachexcel.com search for the tutorial and you can download it there. That's it for this tip. 